Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Good morning. Um, and it's, a, it's it's not that good of a morning, um, but um, but I did want to start off this video positively. I mean, right now, if you look at the markets, the market is in an absolute free fall. Um, I, I don't think it's I, I don't think it's the end of the world. I mean, if you if you look at Bitcoin right now and you and you zoom out right now, we're basically at the same levels as the, as, as the end of February. All right. Is, is that so bad? I don't know. Uh, but it does mean that we are bearish. All right. And Bitcoin is also not finding any support as of right now. So what that means is and that you're going to and you can also see that right here, for example, what that means is that the entire market is, is just falling down. All right, especially in the last couple of hours that that really continued the, the sell off. Uh, so what happens then if you if you look at a coin like Dogecoin, which is very correlated to Bitcoin for 96 percent is Dogecoin will fall as well. So we're in the middle of that right now. We just had a bearish breakout below this level right here um, at uh, at 12 point, 12 point seven and 13 and 13 and a half cents, which is this level right here. And in general, Dogecoin, I mean, if you if, if you look back, I, I haven't covered it in a couple of days. But if you look back at it, basically since last week, Wednesday, when we started falling again after having a relatively bullish uh, start of the week, since then, Dogecoin has just been bearish. All right. You can see that the EMAs right here are all trending down. We still had this support level, which which held us up for for the week before that Wednesday uh, at 14 and a half cents. But we also broke down below that. And what you saw at the same point of time is that the momentum for Dogecoin, which which you need momentum to have a bullish crypto, uh, the momentum for Dogecoin has been dropping down since that Wednesday a lot as well. Uh, that started accelerating yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening into today. And right now we are just bearish. All right. So in general, um, I'm fairly positive about Dogecoin, because if you look at uh, if, if you zoom out to this chart, what I would say is that there are some amazing buy levels coming up. All right. When you look at a level like 11 and a half cents and especially 10 cents, I would say, especially having the, the long term in mind, those are those are areas to buy with a great risk reward ratio. All right. 10 cents, especially uh, we are, we have a lot of great support there, uh, except for the fact that um, or not except for the fact, uh, but including the fact that 10 cents is a major psychological level. If you buy there, I think Dogecoin to one dollar is still going to happen at some point of time. That's just a great reward from there. So that's the positive side to the story. I think Dogecoin eventually will be bullish again, eventually will rally again. And right now we are getting towards levels which who knows, we might not see ever again. And I'm not trying to, to be overly positive and to make you happy with that. No, I, I genuinely do think that that's most likely or that that's a likely scenario. But for now, we look very bearish, all right? We, we have a lot of sell off, uh, selling off, there's no momentum, Bitcoin is not finding any support. So for now, I think it's most likely that we're heading for this level here at 12 and 11 and a half cents, uh, which is the main support level at this moment. You have the 200 EMA on the, on the, on the daily time frame. Um, if you look at 11 and a half cents, that's technically also a very strong level. So what you need to look for right now is you should expect Dogecoin to keep falling, all right, so that it drop, drops down to a support level like 11 and a half cents, that it finds some support uh, support there, but that afterwards we will drop down lower, for example, down towards 10 cents. That's what I think you should expect. But the main thing you need to watch is that, all right, right now it looks most likely we're dropping down to that level at 12 and 11 and a half cents. Can we, from there, including Bitcoin, can we actually get some momentum from there? All right, so what you need to do, I think, and I'll keep you updated on this as well, but what you need to do is you need to keep your eyes on that open interest and you need to watch for some sort of a shift in there. Because if the open interest starts increasing right here, then there's actually an indication that that, that wills or people are buying again. And then we can actually get some sort of a, a bullish breakout above 12 and a half cents and get relatively bullish again on the short term. If that does not happen, we will still find support at that level, but we will not be bullish from that level. All right, so that's the main thing to watch. I will keep you updated on that. For now, like I said, I think it's most likely to expect that we're going to do something like this. Um, but um, but keep your eyes on, on that momentum, all right? Keep your eyes on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin gets some sort of a bullish breakout, that will also mean that altcoins will follow. Uh, but that, for now, is what you need to know. So if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.